pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Will Forte. Thank you for giving me your time today to speak about this very exciting new Netflix animated feature, Thelma the Unicorn. So tell us about the character you voice and your character's dynamic with Thelma the Unicorn. Well, I'm I'm Thelma's best friend, and I um, am just the classic best friend. You know, the the friend that you you want by your side because I'm uh, patient and forgiving and and supportive and and uh, yeah, I just really love the dynamic with with uh, Thelma between Thelma and, and Otis. Um, it really is a, a delight. This series explores themes of identity, obviously friendship and pursuing dreams. So can you discuss how these themes resonate with you personally and how they informed your portrayal of Otis? Well, I mean, I, you know, I think that that theme is so important, uh, especially today uh, with social media, it's so relevant. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it was such a wonderfully written script that the moment I read it, just the whole time I'm going like, oh, yes, yes. It's also incredibly funny at the same time and quirky. And then the way they animated it is so great. So, it, you know, it is it is kind of a perfect movie. I loved it so much. I got to watch it with my kids. I have a three-year-old and a, an 18-month-old and, and just had such a good time laughing. You're right, it appeals to kids, it appeals to adults, but it was so fun to watch it with them. I was really proud of it because it's so funny and fun, but it really does, uh, you know, give a very important message, which I, I think is is vital um, to be to be learning. Now, of course, animation allows for a lot of creative freedom. Were there any particular scenes or moments in Thelma the Unicorn that you found especially fun or challenging to voice act? Uh, I, I think the, the most challenging thing from, from mine, because most of my stuff is, is just my normal speaking voice, but then I would, uh, do this character called Dunk Truvius, which is this, uh, low register. Um, and it was, we would do a lot of takes. So it would, it would be, it would just take a lot of energy and, and, uh, and sometimes my, you know, get my voice a little scratchy, but. But then I would hear Jared, who would do, uh, you know, a version of that. And he's doing it the whole time and his voice is just fine. So he's he's like a, a, a superhero, uh, Jared Hess, who's um, he's one of the co-writers of the, the movie with his wife and one of the, the co-directors of the movie as well. And so when you're doing the voices in the booth, He's mimicking all the other voices. So you're doing one voice. He's doing sometimes four or five voices <laughs> in a scene. Uh, so that was really fun to watch. But yeah, Don Truvius was the one that was the, the trickiest. Well, I think it'll resonate because of that theme to just be true to yourself. It's it's an important as an it's as important as it has ever been. And uh, you know, especially in this social media age I, th I think uh we need a lot of reminders but you know this wonderful message is delivered in this beautiful package in this very quirky package with all these fun funny characters and uh and it's just a really funny funny movie with great music i don't know it's pretty hard to beat this movie I, I, I'm so proud of it and really just delighted to be a part of it. Well, Mr. Forte, that is my time. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you very much.